I'm Brian Goulet, the Goulet Pen Company in Ink Nouveau, and I have the Twisby Diamond 50P Inkwell. It's very similar to the Twisby Diamond 50 Inkwell, except that the cap on the Diamond 50 is aluminum and the cap on the Diamond 50P is plastic. So I'm going to compare and contrast the two and show you what's going on with the difference. The, the Twisby Diamond 50P is exactly the same as the Twisby Diamond 50, but instead of having an aluminum cap like the Diamond 50 does, this one has a plastic cap, hence the P. It's uh, saving you a couple of bucks. Normally the Diamond 50 bottle is $25. This one is $18.99, so it's saving you $6.01. Again, that price is always subject to change. That's what it is as of the release of the bottle anyway. The packaging that it comes in is the same as the Diamond 50, if you're familiar with that. I have another video on it, you can check that out. Um, but this is, the packaging is exactly the same. It's basically bomb proof. Okay, not really bomb proof, but um, it's got some instructions here about how to use it. But you don't need that because I'm going to show you. The thing is packaged like crazy. A little styrofoam everywhere and stuff. Okay, so that's cool. I don't mind a little over packaging. Um, so, okay, here's the bottle. It comes in five different colors. There we go. Uh, it comes in orange, black, blue, green, and red. Now, the regular Diamond 50, the aluminum style one, comes additionally in purple and silver. These ones do not have purple and silver. These are the same five colors that you'll see in the smaller VAC 20 bottle, which are all plastic as well. The um, doesn't look quite as nice as the aluminum one, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, there's definitely uh, a difference here. The aluminum one definitely looks sharper definitely has kind of more of an industrial feel to it. Uh, you know, there you go. Th there's a difference. Uh, I don't mind the plastic one. For me personally, I kind of like the aluminum one better. I feel like if you're spending this money on an inkwell, might as well go all out. But for those of you who do want the plastic one, there are some advantages. Obviously, the price is one. Um, there is not a significant difference in the performance. Okay, so the way that these bottles work, if you're not familiar with it, um, it's a glass inkwell. It has a cone insert, which is really nice. So you can fill you know, any pen you want just from the cone insert. But this little cap part here, this is very simple. And it just draws ink up through here and fills your pen directly from here. Uh, it fills, it's meant to fit the Twisby 530, 540, 580, and the Twisby Mini. And plus whatever future pens Twisby may decide to develop that also fit in. Um, it's kind of neat. I'm just gonna take some you know, demonstration style ink that I have here and I'm going to Pour it in. Now you can use it with or without the cone insert. If you use it with the cone insert, uh, you want to make sure that you're filling it with the cone insert in there, otherwise you're not going to have anything. And it's got those holes in there, so you're filling the cone and it can still fill the bottle. Uh, you want to make sure that you're not filling the bottle and then putting the cone in and then trying to fill it because there will be no uh, ink in the cone. Uh, or just turn the bottle upside down to fill that cone up before you get filling. Um, so the way that this thing works, it's pretty neat. I've got a Twisby Mini here to demonstrate, but it's the same concept for all the Twisby pens uh, that fit this. You take the nib section off, just unscrews right out of there. You just press it onto there. It's got a nice kind of a snug fit. And then you just unscrew. Sorry, I'm trying to show you without blocking everything. You just unscrew and it's going to fill the pen as you're unscrewing, okay? There, now I have ink inside my pen. Then you just put your nib section back on, no mess. You can go on writing, pretty cool. Uh, it also works with a standard international converter if you have one of those. So you can just stick it on there like so. Same concept, unscrew it, and it will fill your converter. Kinda neat, okay? So that's the basic concept. The only pen that won't fit it is the VAC 700 here, um, and that's another pen by Twisby, and that has its own bottle, the VAC 20. Uh, and the way the VAC 20 works, I have another video on that, but there is kind of a cool thing that, that Twisby designed the VAC 20 and the VAC 50, or sorry, the VAC 20 and the Diamond 50 and the Diamond 50P all to have interchangeable caps. And you may recall in my VAC 20 video, I talked about how kind of ridiculous it is to have the aluminum cap from the Diamond 50 on the VAC 20 bottle because it makes it so insanely top heavy. Uh, and that's 
you know, just kind of a symptom of the design. There's not really anything that can be done about that. But if you do want to, if you have a VAC 20 and you happen to be ordering a VAC di or a Diamond 50P, golly, Diamond 50P and it's, you know, as well, you can use the cap from that one to use on your VAC 20 bottle. And then you have a smaller, more transportable body for your bottle that you can use with your 580, 540 mini, whatever the case may be. And it's still a little bit top heavy, but it's not quite as insanely top heavy and ridiculous as the aluminum one. Uh, or if you want to, you know, make it even smaller and more compact, you can actually remove this portion of it. You can use just the black part of the cap onto this bottle. And then it's really not as top heavy. And, you know, you have to fill from it just like a normal bottle. So, you know, depending on your specific pen, that may or may not work for you, but that is also an option for you. And it's, uh, it, makes, it makes much more sense doing it that way than it does with the aluminum. And then, of course, you can put the VAC 20 cap on your Diamond 50 or Diamond 50P bottle, and it works like that, too. Um, the difference in weight of the caps is pretty significant. Um, the glass itself is the same uh, both on the aluminum and the plastic versions of this bottle. I'm getting it mixed up here. There we go. Uh, so that's the same. What am I doing? There we go. That's the same. The difference in weight is that the aluminum one, just the cap itself is 52 grams or about 1.8 ounces. And then the plastic one is only 19 grams or 0.7 ounces. So that means when you have the whole thing assembled, you're looking at 161 grams for the aluminum version and 129 for the plastic, which I don't think the whole bottle weight makes too much of a difference, but the cap can make, it, make a difference, uh, especially if you're using it on the, on the VAC-20 bottle. Not that that's like the main reason for it. I think the main reason that Twisby did it is because of economy reasons. So there you go. Hope that's useful to you. That is the Diamond 50 P. If you have any questions about the Diamond 50P or anything else Twisby related, or anything fountain pen related for that matter, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, wherever in the comments, uh, and I'm happy to help you out. Thanks so much for spending time with me, and right on.